we are coming to you this time from the Concrete Grandy Creek KOA in Concrete, Washington. This is a great location for a campground. We are right outside the entrance to North Cascades National Park. We went in there today and it took about 45 minutes to get to the visitor center, which puts you right in the center of the North Cascades National Park. There's also several small towns around here that have things to do. We did a great horseback riding trail yesterday. Um, there's restaurants and bars and wineries and plenty of stuff to do right here in just a, a short little distance from the campground. This is something that we haven't come across before. I'm sure that this exists all over the country. We just haven't come across it. But this campground is a combination of KOA and Thousand Trails. So the part that we are staying in is part of the KOA. But if we go just kind of across the way here, that section is Thousand Trails. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at, at campsites and looking to book. There are different sections for the different types of bookings that you do. So it is a pretty large campground. There's um, you know, a couple hundred sites here. They have cabins, they have yurts for rent. So there's quite a few ways to stay here. And it's nice and spacious. We have a really good sized site here for our fifth wheel. Um, fit in here very well with plenty of what we call our patio space outside our camper to make a fire have a picnic table, all of those kinds of things. So the sites are really spacious and very level. So we've been really happy with that. It's a very peaceful, beautiful campground. Um, it's kind of nestled in the woods. You have mountain views all around. And even over the weekend, when things were very, very busy and lots of families around here, it was overall a pretty quiet campground. So as far as amenities, they have all of the amenities that you would expect in a KOA. Um, they have a great laundry facility, very nice bathhouse. Um, they have a pool and spa, but they're currently under construction. They're very beautiful, but not open right now. I think it's gonna be open later this year, 2021. They have a really good sized playground. Um, they have a jumping pillow, um, but one thing I haven't come across in KOAs, this is the first time we've come across this, um, you have to actually pay to use the jumping pillow. We're here early in the season, they haven't started that yet, so I'm not sure how much it costs, but you do have to get a wristband to use the jumping pillow. Same with the mini golf, they have a little mini golf course and you do have to pay extra to do that. So as far as Wi-Fi, um, if you are dependent on Wi-Fi, you need to keep in mind that you do, they have free Wi-Fi at the community center down there, but you get a, a sheet when you come in because it's a third party provider for the Wi-Fi if you want it at your site and you do have to pay for that. So you sign up online. Um, so for about $6 a day, you can get Wi-Fi, $15 a week, $30 a month, um, and so forth. It is unlimited data, no contracts, all of that kind of stuff, but we did not pay for it. I can't even tell you if it's good Wi-Fi, but it is not free Wi-Fi. Now we have Verizon and we have full service on our Verizon phones. So we've been able, we've been able to stream and work off of our Verizon phones. So guys, at this campground, they have a really nice kids area. They have a little basketball, and then they have a little playground there um, and then also they have a jumping pillow it's really fun so here we paid $61 for a full hookup back in site and that's with 30 amp as far as the value goes I think that it's a little bit high uh, for uh, for what you get they do have pretty good amenities but I've seen a lot of KOAs at lower prices and for a back in sight and only 30 amp, I think that $60 is a little bit high considering um, this isn't a highly trafficked area. Um, the Cascades National Park is beautiful, but it's one of the least visited national parks in the area. Um, so I think that it, as far as value goes, um, I, I think that it's just a little bit higher than what I think that it should be, but overall not too bad. So we've had a really pleasant weekend here, um, and I think that we would stay here again if we were in this area. Again, like I said, I might look for something a little bit less expensive, um, but it's really a beautiful campground, especially if you want the playground and the pool and all of the fun things that they have to offer here. It's really a pretty beautiful campground.